This is Corrupted. This is Corrupted. Corrupted. Corrupted Nation with Joe Cronin. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Corrupted Nation. Uh, thank you to YouTube for fixing all the problems and for reaching out to me and getting all the contact information that we needed to get. Now, I'm no stranger to legal stuff. I mean, obviously, I've had to subpoena and, uh, you know what I mean, on the grounds of some kind of mass bullying campaign towards me, um, you know, because when it comes to my livelihood in this channel, uh, that is a legal thing. Like, if you actually tried to take down your my job, like, I'm going to actually pursue that legally. I mean, if you say things about me, who gives a crap? Who gives a crap if you say things about me, if you say things about somebody else, whatever, they're just words, who cares? Unless you're completely slandering somebody. For instance, when Jim Cornette, a guy who has hundreds of thousands of people listening to a podcast, who's a well-known wrestling guy in the industry, who has wrestlers and owners and real people, like tons of important people actually listening to his show, when he goes on the show, and him and his friends say that I take the money that I get from my shows and I buy front row tickets to wrestling events to watch them. Meanwhile, I have the tickets at home and they say zero dollars comp on them because the wrestling companies sent me the tickets. And that, though, telling people, though, that I take their money to buy thousand dollar front row tickets when they don't know whether that's true or not true. And I've actually come on the air and showed my tickets before. Um, so in a way, that is more slander than anything you're going to hear in this video. And this chick apparently just doesn't know what slander is. I'm actually going to stick up for Mundane Matt here, by the way, um, if you can believe that. But here is the clip that I've that he's been playing. Apparently, this chick from Midnight's show, whatever, I don't know. It's Actually, I watch their show too, but I can never remember the name of the show um, and whatever the heck. I don't know. But Matt's going to show it in a second. Them dumb. And that's exactly what Mecha Random did. Watch the whole Oh, the chick's name is Mecha Random, by the way. And by the way, I say chicken dude a lot. It's not like a SJW thing. I just say, I just like to call people chicken dude, man, because I'm stuck in the 1990s. So deal with it. Clip. He's, he says, he, now his words were, Mecca took a, um, some, uh, took a, uh, Mahler's opinion. Uh, she's just using the opinions of people smarter than her, right? It's like, no, no, no. I use Mahler's review to see the movie, <laughs> basically, because you saw everything that happened in the movie in his review. I saw the trailer to make my opinion of the movie. I didn't see it. It played on my birthday. Fuck that movie. I'm not. So she's going to talk about Black Panther and she's going to say how she's going to say all these repetitive things about how Black Panther is bad. And what Matt criticized her for was, how can you criticize Black Panther when you haven't seen the movie? You're just saying all the things this other guy on your show is saying, and you're basing this all on his review and, and the trailer. How can you possibly do that? So she's about to defend that, which is indefensible. You must see the movie to really give your own review. I mean, if you're giving your speculation on what you think the movie's going to be, that's different, but she's actually giving out a review opinion when she hasn't reviewed or, or seen the movie. So she's wrong here. Um, but I mean, I respect her opinion that she built based on not seeing it or whatever, but she just, you got to see a movie to actually, you know, come on. She's, so she's wrong here. I'm going to see it on my birthday, first of all. It didn't look that good, and I'm never going to see it. And Monday Matt can suck out of my asshole if he... I mean, this sounds like the opposite of an SJW on the other side. This sounds like the other side of the SJWs. Like, the people that are like, oh, it's the greatest movie ever. Oh, my God, Black Panther. It's so amazing. It's, oh, it's so... This is the best. Like, those people are like idiots. But this has got to be the opposite of that. Whatever that is, this is the other far side of that where you're like, I'm never going to see it. And it looks and stupid. I mean, you're, why wouldn't you to review it? Like, you wouldn't watch it to review it, to actually see what it's like. He thinks that I'm going to make a video about him complaining about him because I'm not. He, he's not going to use me to get famous. If he mentions my name ever again, I will file a restraining order and take legal actions against him because he is now attacking, harming, slandering me. If he says one more word, 
Huckabee. I'm not going to see it on my birthday, first of all. It didn't look that good, and I'm never going to see it. And Monday Matt can suck out of my asshole if he thinks that I'm going to make a video about him complaining about him, because I'm not. He, he's not going to use me to get famous. If he mentions my name ever again, I will file a restraining order and take legal actions against him because he is now attacking, harming, slandering me. If he says one more word about me ever again, I will proceed legally. <laughs> if he says one more word again, he's now slandering me. No, he's not. You don't know what slander is. This 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 woman does not know what slander is. She does not know what slander is. I just gave you an example of what slander is. It's when you just tell everybody. It's when you tell a million people, oh, Joe buys front row tickets to wrestling events with his fans' money, knowingly, and, and he just uses it for that. When that's not true. You know, like, you know that's not true. That That's, that's slander. But even Jim Cornette, like, I'm not sure if he knew that was true or not. He just said it to be reckless. Um, but a lot of people believed it. A lot of people who don't know who I am, like, believe everything Jim Cornette says. And a lot of those people are big time in the wrestling industry. And I'm and I'm I'm working in the wrestling industry in a small capacity. Now, if they ever hear of me, hey, want to hire this guy, Joe Cronin? Oh, no, that's the guy who just takes money and then buys front row tickets. No, it's not. So that's slander. This lady doesn't know what slander is. Slander is not criticizing somebody for their opinion. Slander is literally hurting somebody, you know, knowingly when you're when you're making up a lie or something like that. You can't slander somebody by being like, "Oh, you know, you didn't even see the movie." Like that that's having a difference of opinion and you can't stop people from saying your name. You can't stop people from giving their opinion about you. You are a public figure. Um, this person is psycho delusional to go to like the legal route. If he mentions my name again, like legally, I'm going to sue. Like, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, we're look at all the things that have been done to me, man. I've had my kids threatened to be killed. You know, I've had like pictures of my wife all over the place. We're going to like rape her to death. Like all these different things. Um, Things that have been done to me multiple times, countless amount of times. Even recently, people taking audio clips of me and mashing them together out of context to make it sound like I said something I didn't say or have some kind of contradiction I don't have. That has been done a million times over. It's ridiculous. That stuff is still above what happened to her here. That stuff is all above legally what, you know, somebody criticizing this person like or like uh, disagreeing with their opinion. That's not stalking. That's disagreeing with their opinion. You know, and then later on, Matt would go on to explain how she's obsessed with fucking, you know, Marvel or whatever um, and shows her videos and stuff like that. And, yeah, she is a little bit like she's riding the train of outrage about the outrage, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I agree with probably her on most of these opinions on Marvel and uh, the outrage, but she's just being outraged to be outraged, I feel like, just for attention or something like that. But uh, whatever, it, it is what it is. I kind of disagree with him, though, because Matt put this up and he was like, look at her, look at all the videos. She's really obsessed. Well, who cares if she's obsessed? Like, let her keep, if she's got something to say about a topic, let her make a million videos about it. Who cares? I don't care if she does that. So that's the one thing I support her on. But saying that you're going to, you know, have somebody like a lawsuit and a restraining order because someone gave their opinion about you. Talk about diminishing all the people that really do have a problem and should have a restraining order. Um, that, that is one of the most silly clips I've heard in a while. Anyway, my name is Joe Cronin. This is Corrupted Nation. I am back. And, uh, thanks to YouTube for fixing everything. We are back. And, um, hey, tonight, uh, New Year's stream either will either be here or on my other channel. Uh, I don't know where. And, uh, shout out to the Patreon crew, over 400 patrons again. And we have a lot of content coming up to Patreon, so... Check that out if you want this channel to continue. That's how you got to do it. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Uh, become a patron, and we have over 400 patrons. And uh, thank you, guys. Um, I will be hanging out with my, th I got my three kids to hang out with tonight, so that will be going on. But I will be, um, you know, as soon as they all pass out, I will be going uh, live. Or I'll be doing Tuesday Night Throwdown before, then going off and coming back on, that type of thing. Hit me up on Twitter at CorruptedPod if you'd like to. What do you guys think about this uh, situation uh, and somebody uh, wanting to get a restraining order for somebody's uh, <laughs> opinions, I guess? Actions against him because he is now attacking. No, he's not. 
and I will file a restraining order and take legal actions against him because he is now attacking, harming, slandering me. If he says one more word about me ever again, I will proceed legally. Oh, you should look up the legal uh, the laws because you're wrong. <laughs>